Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Monday. Uh, holy crap. I think, <laughs> I think it's December the 8th, 2014. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I'm your Monday, ugh, I'm your Monday vlogger, B. Sorry about that. Dirty hands. I just got through working out, and we did tire flips today, so A, I'm a little dirty. B, I'm a little pumped up. I'm about this high on endorphins right now, so you're going to get a mouthful today from B, especially about this topic, because this is one of those things that, um, well, hell, I'll be honest with you. I kind of go back to my, my small town roots and my mama slapping me around teaching me to be humble. And I'm going to give everybody a piece of humble pie today, okay? Let me read the topic and then it'll make a whole lot more sense. It says, I'm afraid to be thin. How does a weight loss surgery patient deal with pushing past the comfort of the fat suit, right? And past the fear of failing. We're not going to say failing. We're going to say falling because I don't like that word. And get used to being, you get, getting used to the comfort of being uncomfortable. The comfort of being uncomfortable. That's the biggest line of crap I've ever heard in my life. I'm sorry, let me apologize. You're going to get tough love today from me because that's just, that's where I am at this particular moment in my life, all right? Okay, now, we all have a problem. That's why we're here. That's why we had weight loss surgery or why we're thinking about having weight loss surgery, right? What is it? We're fat. Obese. We have an eating problem, whatever you want to call it. The bottom line is we're fat, all right? And to hear something like this kind of strikes a nerve with me. And this is going to be a real insensitive part of B, all right? And I know I don't have this reputation, but it, it, it really is. It's kind of one of those things where I want to say and cover your ears if you don't want to hear some bad language. Quit your bitching. Straight up, all right? If you're worried about being too thin... You're worrying about the wrong crap, straight up. You are worrying about the wrong crap. Now look, let's be honest. Let me step back and, 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 and try to be a little more sensitive. I think we got gaining weight down, okay? I think we got that one down to a T, yeah? We should have that down to an exact science. Am I right or am I wrong? We're right. Okay, so if you get to the point where you feel like you've lost too much weight, I think you can figure out how to put a little bit back on, right? Now, whether or not you do it safely, effectively, efficiently, you know, that's entirely up to you. And that's when it's going to take a plan. Gaining weight is a challenge, just like losing weight is a challenge. You know, it takes a strategy. It takes thought out plan. It takes the right kind of meals and the calorie intake and the right type of fitness, right? But it can be done. But the point of the matter is that gaining weight is a hell of a lot easier than losing weight. The last thing you should be worried about is being too thin. I think that should be everybody's goal, being too thin, all right? Because let's get really super skinny and then fill out the way we want to fill out. I, I know it doesn't work that way, and I know I'm kind of over-exaggerating, but I just, I read this topic, and I'm like, for crying out loud, is that the last, that's the last thing we should be worried about, being too thin. Now, Okay, I get it. Some of us are, are, it's a legitimate concern. I don't want to lose too much weight. I don't want to be a beanpole. Okay. So what do you do? Well, like I said, you have to plan and you have to strategize. And if you don't feel comfortable enough doing this by yourself, this is where calling in a professional will help. What do I mean? Well, you got to talk to a nutritionist. You got to talk to a trainer. Just like when you went to lose some weight, you got to talk to your nutritionist, you got to talk to your trainer and say, hey, I'm 115 pounds, I'm way too skinny, I'd like to put on about 8 or 10 pounds or 10 or 15 pounds of healthy weight. And I promise you that for you, all right, this person who used to be morbidly obese, all right, gaining 15 pounds safely and effectively is not going to be a problem if you take the time to put in a little bit of planning. Hell, we gained 10 pounds over the Thanksgiving holidays, right? It's okay. This should be the last concern that you have. Right after, what do I do with all this excess skin? If being too skinny is what you're concerned about right now, you have very minor problems. That's just my opinion. Granted, I probably pissed a bunch of people off with this, but, you know, it's just the way that I feel. And, and that's why we do this, right? There are bigger tragedies in our journey, I promise you. But again, and, and to be realistic, if this is a legitimate concern of yours, plan it out. Talk about it. 
Go talk to a trainer. Go talk to a nutritionist. Talk to your doctor. Talk to anybody for crying out loud. It's a very correctable problem. And like I said, it's a heck of a lot easier to gain 15 pounds than it is to lose 15 pounds. All right? That's it. That's all I got for this week. Sorry about the tough love, but it's just one of those topics that uh, that I feel it's, that's, uh, well, that's just where I am. Anyway, guys, make sure you thumbs up. Don't thumbs down. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Come back and see us tomorrow for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works video. And, of course, come back and see me on Monday for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works vlog. Have a wonderful week, guys, and take care.